Hey, welcome back to the channel. Woodley here. I want to give you a little explanation for where I've been before we get in today's content. In this video, you're going to see uh, me working with my kids and we're doing some work around the property and then we do some exploring into the woods. And so if you want to kind of get a glimpse uh, into some of the property uh, that we haven't been into, you'll catch that on the end and then you'll see a little project that I have working with my kids. But a lot of you have been following along as we had been building and then kind of the videos got spaced out and got dropped and uh, or just were not coming. And the reason for that was I just got um, swamped with the actual work from my standpoint in the process. You saw in there the painting. Kind of once the painting began back in February, all of the areas that I had to do came together. Um, the siding on the house, the retaining walls, you saw those, the kitchen installation and cabinets, all those things. And in addition to that, I had an opportunity um, in the school that I teach at to, uh, to actually to run a video club and to do some other things. And so that kind of time that I was putting with that opportunity ate into my uh, video creation time and editing. So. Um, I, I dropped off. So we're re-engaging here in the YouTube world and uh, excited to do that. It's fun to do these sometimes with my kids and making them. And one of the things that I, that I hope you see a little bit of is um, just sometimes what it looks like when somebody's not an expert uh, but is able to work through those things. And then also how to do that with your own children and make them a part of it. I had the great example in my life of a great dad. I have three older brothers who are also really excellent fathers. And uh, I remember in the motivation of starting this, just recognizing that uh, sometimes people just need to see something. So just like all of the skills that I'm, I'm doing, I'm not a master at any of those. I got some good feedback on the last video about my um, lack of understanding of tractor operations so appreciate people's input related to that because i'm learning so hopefully you can gain something um hopefully you can uh you can learn something you can see it and uh hopefully you can enjoy this process um of uh, watching so if you're here i want to say thank you and now we'll get into uh get into today's content So we're down here and if you've been following the channel for a really long time, you'll remember when we had to move some fruit trees. Before we had any plans or thoughts of building on the property, we had planted a garden and some apple trees where our driveway now is. These are peach trees and I'm at the point now where I want to take the fencing off of them. I think they're tall enough where it will work to take it off. And I also don't really know if we're actually going to get any fruit out of these. We're going to have to pull the, the, like, the fencing out of the grass because it's probably interwoven with it. And uh, then we'll pull these up and we can, we can reuse the uh, fencing. This is a peach. These are peach, but this one. Daddy, is that an apple? I'm trying to remember what had happened early on in the process of this one's life. It, it, uh, like it got, I think it got cut or something at the bottom. Mm. And so it kind of turned it into like two. Daddy. Um, Part of why I want to do it is it'll just look nicer driving up the driving up the driveway than that. The bulldozer or the excavator when they were digging the um, the tunnel for the electric um, 
The guy's dad was helping him out. He's in his 80s. Who's that? And he was doing, he was, he was backfilling that channel. And he was, was a, a min, on a mini excavator. He broke the, uh, or hit our other fence on that one. And it got all bent up. And you know, I just told him it's no big deal. But it just doesn't look great. So I want to get it, get them moved out. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down fencing get it rolled up and put away and then we're gonna do a little exploring in the woods a lot of what I have right now is the real focus of my energy is to finish the basement and that's the priority so there's all this property stuff that I'd love to do but I need to finish um, need to get this basement finished so that th other things can get moving you, you can walk and make you walk. I love you mommy this is so cool. Come on, Savannah. <laughs> that was the yeah, I bet the deer run through this place because there's a lot of... I think the way to... If we stay close to this rock wall here... Like, the side. If we stay close to the rock wall... Yeah. It might be... Help us stay out of the mud. Oh, yeah.
This is the area where the beaver had clogged up this culver pipe. It's got to be at least at least two feet apart or uh, two feet in diameter here which comes across here and as you can see the all of this stuff from recent um, rain we had there was just a trickle coming through this pipe and they were the water was going over top of the road so the town came through with their little John Deere mini excavator and dug this out and then they uh, I think they came back and they had dammed it right back up here. They said they had to take the the mini and they took a pipe, a smaller culver pipe, and had to jam it through. That's how um, clogged up it was in there. And then they took these posts and using that mini, they drove those in. He said they're about four feet down. So one of the guys was here just the other day who I know, and he had a rake and it had just come up. And they had a trap just up in that area right there. And I don't see the trap there anymore. So I think that means that they may have, they may have caught one of the beavers that they were looking for. So this is the area from the concern is kind of the washing out of this. And then this stream, this comes, this is where our property begins over here on this side. And they said it kind of appeared like the beavers were going um, through this here, but the concern was for this running during the winter time and being ice. So they said they have three of these locally that they're um, working on from a beaver situation. So we're down here on kind of the lower five acres of the property. We're sort of going through. This is the uh, largely unexplored part of it. Uh, the property and we're kind of down here. It's real marshy and wet um, And we just sort of bushwhacked through a bunch of really really dense stuff, but now it's kind of opened up and it's a uh, It's a pretty little area. So we're gonna keep on kind of working our way back um, Towards it. We've been down here earlier with Savannah and Daniel But they didn't get too far before they wanted to go back and then Lucas was exploring and then came back down and looking around so and that's Pretty. the dense part. Yeah. Let's get there. Oh. You see these you see these game trails through here. There's some real obvious spots where you can tell that the deer But if it's a if it's a bear game trail, then you then you don't wanna really go there that much. Now we're going through more dense stuff. Whenever there's like, there was really like in this. Right here, it just, what? Really wet right here. Yeah. Um, like when it, there's sometimes there's like streams going under one. That's cool. That looks really cool. No. It's just like the wind kind of pushed all of it. Yeah. Not many trees here. Probably from oops. Probably from the beavers and stuff like that could have been. It's interesting to me why this, this is more grass in this section than in the woods. Yeah, it could be that this is like more wet. This one's prickly. Ow! You okay? Ah, whacked me in the face. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Careful. That thorn. You sure? I'm good.